about over 30,000 students. 35,000. I'm guessing like 34,000. We have like 20,000 undergrad and 10 grads, so around like 30 to 40,000. <laughs> I looked that up yesterday. So we actually have 27,496 undergraduate along with 10,708 graduate students for a total student body of 38,204 students. I'll be honest, I'll throw out a guess and I'll say a 67. Four? I'm going with 27. Is it actually 27? Really? I was gonna say like 100. <laughs> we have 27 bear statues on and around campus. The smallest is located in the balcony of South Hall. The campus's mascot is a golden grizzly bear. How many panels? What? Nude? There's nude <laughs> on our gate? Nude sculptures. We just saw this. No, oh, no, well, I didn't really look at it. Oh. There aren't any. We all agree on eat though, right? You can see them right there. I sell the same. Oh, there. Wow, now I see <laughs> it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, while many of us walk by the Sather Gate every day, not many of us really notice the sculptures going along the gate. There are eight sculptures in total. Um, the four facing the south side are all of women, representing the studies of electricity, art, agriculture, and architecture. And the four facing the north side of campus represent the studies of law, letters, medicine, and mining. Oh, I know this. Oh, I heard this story. I know this one. I got this. I got this. So, like, the legend is that it was like two two brothers, I think, designed it. And then they had communication issues and a woman was involved or something. Yeah. One of them was having an affair with their wife. And they were like fighting with each other. So they like got mad at each other. And they, they planned it separately. But that's why Donnell Hall makes no sense. Yeah. When, when did you hear that? But I don't think it's true. It sounds ridiculous. Basically, they like couldn't compromise. Mm -hmm. So, the whole story on the two feuding brothers fighting over one woman is completely false. What had happened was, <laughs> the original design for Dwinnell called for office spaces which needed lower ceilings, and then lecture halls which needed higher ceilings. And then on top of that, Dwinnell was built on a hill, so there's four different floors that are at ground level. So really, it's really confusing, all because of design. Oh, they don't want the students to get in. Because how fancy the infrastructure is in the administration buildings. Apparently there was like this big riot where they locked all the teachers in the building. There were protests and they would, the protesters would lock the administrators in. Protesters handcuffed themselves. So, are you an encyclopedia? No longer. <laughs> California Hall houses our top administrative offices. For that reason, many protests have been staged outside, including one where the students actually chained the doors together. That's why California Hall's exterior doors actually don't have door handles, and many other buildings on campus only have one door handle per set of double doors. Our campus has historically and continues to be at the forefront of student activism, from the free speech and disabilities rights movements to the Black Lives Matter protests of recent times. <laughs>